Okay, so we're here again at the PG sales. Okay, um, we are to demonstrate a uh, scatter plot again, but uh, with categor the categorical variable. Okay, so in order to do that, um, let's use this one insert scatter plot. Okay, empty slate. Okay, and then select data. And we're gonna name this series here as uh, single. The x values will be this one up to this one. Okay. And then the y values will be okay. B. Okay. So that one. Enter and then add again. So this will be named as condo. Okay, so gonna use this one here. Okay. I mean this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Okay. Then enter. And then enter. Okay. So that's how easy it is right okay so we can add here some design okay we'll add some yeah that one okay we'll add that one we have already the uh the categories the classifications okay and then um we can just name this one as anything that you want okay like this one Um, you can have this one. Yeah, you have this um, categorization here and the colors here. Okay, and you can just rename this one and this one the x axis and the y axis. Okay, so we're done with the um, with the uh, scatter plot with categorical variables with Excel. Now we'll move to the R. Okay, R, R Studio. Okay, I just uh, combined it all for us to to uh, see. This is just a very few. Okay, we just have to remove this one. Okay, just combine it. So easy on doing some doing that in Excel. So I decided just have to combine that with R in one video. Okay, we're gonna import the data file, browse. Okay, and then this one. And then, okay. Uh, uh, look for PG sales, not peg, PG sales. PG sales. So now we're here. Okay, I think this is okay. Import. And then now we are here. Okay, so now we will plot the data. Okay, plotting the data. This is just a comment. Okay. Plotting the data. Plotting. Okay, so flat. Okay, so we'll have to. Okay, uh, the two here will be the price. Okay, this is the x uh, y axis coupled with the. Square feet, okay. Comma, and then the name of the the name of the bar chart. I mean scatter plot. Is yeah, scatter plot or blah blah blah. 
for price against square feet incorporating incorporating type of house okay and then comma and then we'll name the x axis x log okay. x log is uh, is q fit y log equals to price okay you can follow the what's written in the book uh, i have my own naming here in the shortcut okay so another one will be the pch value 16 pch okay and then the follow okay this is the um we will test here the f else okay okay so it was f else okay okay so my data and type okay okay sorry type okay is equals to condo okay the condo and then um, the color of that will be this 20 and then 26 are colors okay and for this specific sample we just have to follow what's the what's in the book Okay, 20 and 26 is color, okay? So, you have to enter this one, okay? Okay, so 20 and 26 is color. You have to experiment on that, okay? We'll check. Sample, I make 20 and 21, okay? So, you see, it changes, okay? Condo changes. For example, uh, I change the 20. Uh, make this a 21 again and then uh, 25 this one okay so see uh the 20 and 25 represents the color okay so now we have to go back to what's written in the book okay so now that we have this one okay we now put some legend legend is okay Legend is equals to bottom right. Okay. Legend is bottom right. And then legend. Legend again. Is equals to C. Uh -huh. This is the first option, condo, and the other one is single, okay? Okay, and then the PCH, we will use 16, okay? We already discussed what's PCH, right? And the color will be... Okay, so here it is. The condo is colored uh, blue and the single is colored red. Okay, if you have questions, you can just uh, call me or chat me via Microsoft Teams. Okay, see you again.